This tutorial is to demonstrate the embed element within Final Sites. Once you are on the page in which you would like to edit and you have logged in to the Final Sites Composer, in the bottom left corner you can get into edit mode by toggling to compose in the bottom left corner. Once you are in composer mode you can select add an element when you hover over a portion of the page. So in this tutorial, we are going to highlight the embed element that is listed here under the standard tab. When you have an embed code, you can use this element in order to post that particular content. So I had selected add element and chose embed. Once I selected the element, you can see embed is here listed on my page. In order to edit that embed, you can open settings and add a uh, and add a custom embed code by clicking here. When you do so, I highly recommend changing the title. So for this, I might add get to know GA. You can have the title show, or if you want to hide it, you can use this toggle to the right. You don't have to have a title that is showing for the embed element. In the general settings is where you will add that code. So some examples of items to post using an embed code would be a YouTube video. So here is a recording of a session. I can access share, choose embed, and then here is the embed code that I will highlight and I'm using command C to copy it. I'm going to access the Final Sites Composer and use command V to paste that embed code information. Once I am done, you can select save and then you can see the video will appear using that embed code. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this embed element. I'm gonna select the settings wheel to edit. I'm just going to turn off the title and another example would be um, where an embed code could be found is in a presentation. So here I am in a Google slide. I'm gonna use file and publish to the web. When I publish this particular slide, I am given the option to do it by a link or an embed code. So I'm going to select embed. There are some settings that you can use. I might start the slideshow as soon as it appears, restart at the end and select publish. Once I publish, here is the embed code that I'm gonna use command C to copy, head back to my final sites composer, use command V, to paste and then select save and once I do so there is that Google slide right below there. Now another and last example that I will show using the embed element so I hovered over I'm adding an element choosing embed it's going to appear here and then I will edit that embed element is in reference to newsletters. So many of us use some more as a newsletter and that has an embed code as well. So here on my Granville Academy some more newsletter, I'm going to copy or get the embed link. So here's my embed code. I'm using command C to copy it. Then here in my composer, I am waiting for that element to appear. So I might just add another one and it may take a second here. Excellent. So here is my embed element. I'm going to select settings in the top corner. For this one, I am going to just turn off that title. I'm going to use command V to paste my embed code and select save and then my newsletter will appear. So from here, I can see in the bottom right corner that I am in draft mode. In order for any of these items to publish to the web, I will need to select the green publish option. I can publish this now or publish later. I'm going to publish now. And when I view this particular page, I can, using the icon, I icon in the bottom left corner, I can see what an embed element looks like on an actual page. Now, here's a good example of where that title might be showing and where it won't be showing. And you can always go back to that composer mode and edit these items. So I'm gonna just go ahead and delete these particular embed pages. So over here, I'm gonna delete that. And then I can publish that to the web as well. So that was just a little bit of information about the embed element in Composer for Final Sites.